I took the wing back off because I'm going to repair it on the other side and uh, as you can see we put the floor in. So I made the floor earlier and he's just give it a quick uh, bit of white just to keep the steel uh, covered. But you can see this is how the floor was in it originally except the piece where the gearbox is was one piece. So the two sides now are separate and you can take that gearbox cover off but that's basically how, how it was but it, it's such a poor condition and, and just ripped and rusted and corroded and that front panel was completely gone and this is 3 mil, so it's nice and strong and then we'll do a nice bench seat on the back here so I'm working on this now uh, there's a lot of repair work to do on here you can see that one there is quite bad um, I just knocked this one out a little bit flatter than it was it was all dented in and you can see where the rolled edges you can actually see the wire there look that's got to go back inside and be welded here here get it all in line here it's cracked here this bracket is as much as an Astro and a motorbike so that's coming off it's all corroded there but I'll build a new one for it I need some bit of edge in here you can see some uh, braze in there as well and now here obviously this one is completely screwed it's flange so I'm going to use some 3 mil, and I'll bend it I'll bend the 3 mil um, at 45 degrees so it'll make this flange here and I'll bring it inside which will uh, cover this area here uh, where it's easier to uh, to repair it and uh, and then the rest um, I'm not sure that the problem is with this is it's this I don't have a bead that's this kind of this kind of size so trying to recreate that might be a bit of a problem so I'm just wondering if we should just plate over it I don't like to plate because you trap uh, moisture and two, map two metals together is not a good thing but yeah um, it's trying to recreate that edge that's the problem on it um, and on the other side you can see I can turn it over You can see I've, I've welded all this in now. But it's, not, it's not perfect by any means. It needs a lot more going over it. But I need to get it absolutely flush so that we can put this into the English wheel and, and wheel it. I did wheel it to a certain extent so it's got the basic shape but I just want to get it completely so it's, so it's an invisible patch on it or an invisible repair, which we can do. Um, Again, a lot of this stuff is, this is why I'm doing it from the back now, because I want to re-go over all this and get more welding on it. And uh, there's a little bit of a dip there, but again, lead load. It's amazing what you can do with lead load. Well, you've seen it on the E-Type and the XK and the Mini. Uh, but, uh, and I really enjoy lead loading. <coughs> it's, uh, it's a bit of an art to it, but it's, uh, it just looks great when it's done. It's so much better than, than filler Bondo. Anyway, so that's what we're doing. This is the other one that Amir made. So uh, it's easier to weld when the when the wing is back on from the top side, from this side, and obviously taking them back off again and doing it on the inside. But you can see there's a few bits where there's no penetration there, it's missed. So hopefully I'll catch that on the back side. But this is you know 80, 80 odd years old metal and it's quite thin in places. See, like all this will be lead loaded. You can see where all these dimples are. What we'll do is when they're finished, we'll sandblast them. Um, and then we'll lead load all these small bits. So it'll be the same thickness as it was before. But the, the, the thing's pretty good. It's, it's quite got quite a nice shape to it. So, and as I said here, I'm not just sure about doing this edge. We just don't have a die that's that size, unfortunately. Uh, something I need to think about. Anyway, onwards and upwards. So, a handy little uh, tip here. If you're doing stuff where you've got a shape and you need to plate it for whatever reason, uh, because you can't make the shape or whatever, and you've got little pinholes like this where they're, where they're badly corroded and dimpled, what to do is use a step drill and go through the hole and make it that little bit bigger until the rust stops coming out and you know that the side of the hole is clean. And you can do this basically all over it. And it's easier than when you put the plate on, you can spot, use these holes to spot weld it. 
and fill them and then clean them back and it gives you almost like a spot gold hold so you can see there's loads of little ones here so what I'll do is I know that that's pitted because it's rusted so I'll clean that out they don't all need to be the same size just take it so that there's no rust coming out anymore and then uh, I'll see if I can hold the camera and show you exactly what I mean so you can see here for instance I don't know if you can see that Yeah, I can't put any weight on it because I've only got one hand, but you can see you can clean the hole out until there's no rust in them. So that's what I'll do all the way along because I'm building a flange here, which is going to go onto the uh, step side of the pickup. Um, and I'll cover this in at the same time. I'll get all this cleaned out first and I'll make it out of two mil and flange this up and then re-weld this once it's in the right position. And I've got the, uh, I know exactly where it should fit. But this is just a little tip and then you can just clean off the back and it's easy to get in there and weld it. Okay, so what I've done now is I've put a 3mm flange on here and where the box sections were it's covered that and then this piece now will fit onto here which is 3mm lower and the 1mm uh, for the wing to go on so I'll put that on now and I'll show you what it looks like but you can see I've got it right into the corner and it's completely flat across here now so I'll put this on and then I can put the wing back on and weld what's left of the edge of the wing to it and then I can uh, clean, take it off and clean it up again that should work really well and it's got two rib nuts in there which is more than enough I can always put another one in the center if I need to but two should be more than enough they're eight mil, eight mil or M8 Finish up, um, you can see we've had a bit of a clean up in the garage. Uh, my niece has come over with her husband, and uh, yeah, so let's see, we've got, got the pool table uncovered. The binny bar is now working. This is my uh, mini bar. It's uh, we're trying to make it look like something out of the Italian job, and it's got a remote here, you just press this, and it opens, and there's a fridge. The remote here and there's there you go there's a fridge inside it so let's start using it again to fill it up so yeah that's the it's quite neat made like a little roadway in it it's what I really need is a picture of a tunnel inside and get it blown up so there we go I wanted to put a church key in here so all the bolt tops fell inside. There we go, so it's all a lot tidied up. Got this side partly welded onto the new, you can see it's solid there, but now I have to make it all up. So yeah, new type sat there. That's got to go for a test, an MOT. But this side's looking pretty good. And I bought a bunch of this uh, rubber strip in here. I don't know where it is, but I bought a bunch of this new rubber strip in. You can see how it's got a long edge on it and it fits beautifully on the edge there. And so you can't see the gap between the cab. Sorry, you can't see the gap between the cab and the and the running board and I'll do the same around here. <coughs> so yeah, it's coming on. Uh, XK obviously we're still waiting for the interior. I'll bring that back in July. And uh, I need to get all that dust off it. But that's how we're looking. It's a bit tidier here, a bit cleaner. Um, so what we'll do is take this down to the tented garage and we can do a lot more work down there and what everybody's been saying about the weight on the back the springs on this are not in good condition <clears throat> so I'm going to thinking about putting if I can find a, uh, a spring uh, a new one from a Land Rover as long as the spring rate is higher and it needs to come up about three or four centimeters and it's not rubbing on the wheel but um, by the time we've got everything on it, the wood inside, it, it's going to be quite a bit more heavier. So I think what I'll do is if I can find something that's the right shackle length, I'll put new springs on it. And I'll try and get them when I'm in the UK. I thought the engine and the gearbox were two people in it, or one person in it. And the, and the hood and the bonnet will counterbalance it, but I don't think it's going to... You can see it's a bit too far down. So, and it certainly wouldn't be good enough power-wise. I would think that um, apparently these Rosselais could do 100 kilometers an hour, 
but I think they're only something like 35 horse, they're not very big, less than a mini. So anyway, but there we are. So, that's how it's looking. So I'll stick this video up because it's Sunday and uh, we'll let you know how we're getting on. So as I said, we've got the wings on. So what we'll do is kind of put this back together, um, get the bits painted up that need painting up, get the doors f finished up, get some white primer on, and then I'll take the photographs and get it off to Citroen and we'll go from there. If I get the thumbs up or green light or heritage certificate, I'm pretty sure I can get the paperwork sorted and that's worth spending the money on. So there we are. So on the usual, on the, as usual, stay safe, keep the faith, enjoy your hobby and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.